Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and today I want to talk about Souls boards or Souls Lights. Different kind of games but basically the sorts of games that offer you that Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Soulsy style experience. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with them. I really like the genre. I've played quite a few of them. In fact when I sort of finally got into Dark Souls it basically just ignited my love for this genre to the point where anytime a new one is announced I immediately want to check it out. Of course some are better than others but in this video I wanted to list six Souls Borns, six upcoming Souls Borns that uh, you definitely one of your radar and that are hopefully worth checking out. Some of these you will definitely know about, other ones maybe you won't. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. If you have any questions, by all means let me know in the comments down below. If I've missed any that maybe you think I should add to this list or check out, also let me know. Now to begin with, let's start off with Liars of P. This one, admittedly, there isn't really any gameplay for this. This is very early on, but the trailer looked incredibly interesting. It's being developed by a studio called Round 8 Studios. It's supposedly coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and PC, and the release date is slated for 2023. So still quite a way off, but effectively, setting in the sort of description for this is think of it like Duppy Pinocchio and it features some sort of lying mechanic. The official description for the game is that this is Lies of P, a brand new Souls-like action RPG inspired by the classic Italian novel from Carlo Collodi. They said that it's built from the ground up using Unreal Engine 4 for PC, PS5 and Xbox Series X and it tells the story of Pinocchio as you've never seen it before. Apparently, as Pinocchio himself, you must navigate through a dark Belle Epoque world where all of humanity is lost, the once beautiful city of Krat has now become a living hell, and you must find the famed Mr. Geppetto to unravel the mystery of what happened to both you and the world around you. Playing as the puppet mechanoid Pinocchio, you then wind your way through the streets of the ruined city, crafting weapons from the materials you find in the world and interacting with the remaining few who managed to survive in this pre-industrial hellscape. Apparently though, this is where these sort of interesting mechanics come in, it says the more you lie, the more human you become, with all the advantages and disadvantages that it entails. A richly detailed crafting system, profound narrative choices and deeply customizable character progression round out the RPG features of Lies of P. So this definitely sounds really interesting. I mean, visually again we don't actually have any sort of gameplay but just the atmosphere of the trailer the sort of style of it and it's just a really interesting take on that story so I definitely can't wait to see how this pans out and this one is definitely on my radar. Now moving on from there to number two of course I've spoken about this game on the channel before but that is Black Myth Wukong which admittedly right now we are likening to be a souls like in some of the combat the way that you sort of see the bosses play out the way that you sort of see the action elements of the fights quite whether it does have a souls collecting element whereby of course if you die you then lose that progress will of course remain to be seen but from what we've seen so far there are definitely some of those sort of elements that you see present in those kinds of games and I would therefore put it in that sort of same bracket this game looks fantastic it's of course from Game Science Again, the tentative release is 2023, but they have specifically said that they're just going to release it when they're ready. It looks fantastic from everything we've seen. I love Wukong, I love monkeys, I love the whole sort of journey to the West story, and this has so much charm in the gameplay. Combat seems to have some interesting weight to it. You, of course, have all the properties of the staff. You have this sort of interesting mechanic whereby when you're dodging, you can sort of leave like a shadow clone behind. You can, of course, make the staff even longer, stand up on it to evade incoming attacks. And from one of the earlier trailers, we, of course, also saw the element whereby when you defeat certain enemies you can sometimes take on their moves take on their properties so there's definitely an interesting progression system here too again quite whether it has the traditional sort of souls like mechanic hasn't yet been communicated but it definitely feels like it fits in that genre so keep this one on your radar if you want to find out more about this game we've done some videos on it so i'll link those down below now moving on from there to number three of course one that you will all know is hollow knight silksong Technically speaking, it's more of a Metroidvania. However, if you've played the original Hollow Knight, you will of course know it also features the sort of souls like element. You of course go through collecting those items that you then use to level up your character. You die, you lose them, you have to go back and get them. So it does still therefore fit within that genre. And technically speaking, if you look at Soulsborns in and of themselves, they're just kind of like 3D Metroidvanias, let's be honest. So Hollow Knight obviously looks fantastic. If you guys played the original one, it is an incredible game. The art style is fantastic. The combat is tight. It just feels great to play. That game, I'll tell you, you need to be able to remember where you're going because that one is hella easy to get lost. I, to this day, still cannot remember where I'm going half the time because there are so many shortcuts, so many pathways, but it is a fantastic game with a fantastic story, fantastic art style, and I cannot wait for the sequel. Again, this one right now is TBC. It's coming to PC and Switch, but we are still waiting to hear some information on this one. So uh, as and when we find out more, then I'll let you guys know. 
stuff. Now moving on from there to the next one, we have Sands of Aura. The developer for this one is Chashu Entertainment. This is supposedly coming early access in October this year, so not too far away, and it's coming to PC. Now, this is a very different visual style. This is top-down, but it is supposedly a top-down Souls-like. This is effectively the best of both. If you like your top-downs and you like Soulsborns, then combine them together. Dungeon Crawler, Diablo-y style gameplay with punishing combat. In this game, you will sail the sands in the search of adventure and glory. You'll dive headfirst into battle, or you don't have to. You can choose. You can sort of sneak around if you want to. You can engage in real-time combat. You will face off against horrifying monsters that are ready to strike at a moment's notice. And you can choose from hundreds of unique weapon combinations to cleave, maul, or spear your way to victory. You also have the ability to customize your weapons to gain advantage in every skirmish. And in doing so, you'll then need to use those to vanquish the corrupted races of Talamel whenever they stand in your way. Again, visually looks quite interesting, and I do like the sort of top-down spin on it. So this is one that's definitely on my radar, and the fact that it is in early access next month, I can't wait to check it out. Now, of course, I couldn't do a video on upcoming Soulsborns without talking about Elden Ring. I mean, this game needs no introduction, but I would have done a disservice if I didn't put it in this video. Of course, developer for this one is From Software, being published by Bandai Namco, coming to PlayStation, Xbox, and PC on January the 21st. Finally, having a date for that, it is incredible. This just looks amazing. Everything we've seen of it from the sort of trailers and the footage so far. In fact, recently, journalists had a chance to see some extended gameplay. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see that, but the information that came from the article is fantastic, the sprawling open world, the upgrade mechanics, the setting. I really cannot wait to see how this game plays out. And the fact that, of course, every single time they try and like do things in a slightly different way, From Software have consistently delivered on this genre, but they always find new and exciting ways to effectively deliver a similar experience. So I can't wait to see what Elden Ring has to offer. And then finally, the last one recently shown off is a game called Wuchang Fallen Feathers. This one is from Lenzi Games. This is coming to PC and console tentatively 2024, so even further away. This definitely has some sort of a Sekiro resemblance, but this is basically Soulsborne set in the Ming Dynasty. The official description for this says that it's set in the chaotic final years of the Ming Dynasty. Wu Chang Fallen Feathers is an exploration of the hauntingly beautiful landscapes of Imperial China and the battle against mysterious forces that transform a grim reality to supernatural horror. Recently, they released 18 minutes of gameplay. And of course, when you see this one, again, you sort of see the familiar Soulsborne style gameplay, the sort of weighty, deliberate combat, the parry mechanics, and of course, the uh, punishing enemies. And again, it just looks quite interesting. It is quite far away, so it's a little hard to get excited for this one right now. But if you haven't seen it, then I'll put it on your radar. Anyway, that's it for the time being. That's a quick rundown of some of the Soulsborns that are coming out soon, things to look forward to. Again, if you guys have any that maybe I haven't mentioned, add them to the list down below, but otherwise, keep it locked for plenty more. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.